Hey natural lifestyle seekers, it's Jennifer Gilman here and today I'm going to teach you how to make non-toxic candles with essential oils. My name is Jennifer Gilman and I own the Herbal Cabinet. If this is your first time on my channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm a full-time holistic health coach herbalist and aromatherapist, and this channel is all about living an exceptional life naturally. So today we're gonna to dive into making non-toxic candles, right? But I have to tell you a confession first. I used to burn the toxic candles all the time, you guys. So question of the day, did you too? Comment below if you used to buy all those candles that actually found out later were making you sick, all right? Later on, I'm wondering why I'm having problems and I'm on, you know, had to take some medication, I can't breathe properly, all this stuff is happening to me. And as soon as I ditched the fragrance stuff, the, the synthetic man-made fragrances out of my life, I started to get well, all right? So that's why we're talking about the candles because we like candles, they make us feel good, right? Just watching that flame and burning something nice, but, there's a natural way to do it, all right? So the first thing you're gonna need is a container. And in the show notes, you're gonna find all the links from everything that I'm gonna show you today so that you can purchase these two or go find other ingredients that you would like. But you need a container. I chose this tin, I love it. They're kinda cool, right? Easy to pour and easy to actually travel too, to have a lid on it and take it with you wherever you go. Makes a nice gift also. The other thing is you need two cups of soy wax flakes, okay? So these are the soy wax flakes. I have them in a bag here. And again, I'll give you the link in the show notes of where you can purchase those. So two cups of those. The other thing you need is a wick. Now, the link that I give you, the wicks actually come with it, all right? So make sure you have a wick or you buy what I mentioned below so that you can have the wick. The other thing is these metal um, wick holders and you'll see in a minute how I actually use that the last thing is an essential oil what do you want to use for today I'm actually using balance I love balance it's a grounding blend it keeps me just relaxed and and honestly anytime I've ever burned candles it was really more for relaxation purposes so I love this blend decided to use this one all right so to get started you need a Pyrex container okay Pyrex container and you put those wax flakes right into the container, all right? Now, two different ways you can melt it. You can use your microwave, okay? If you use the microwave, you can do one minute at a time. What I found with my microwave is I did one minute, stirred it up, and I did one more minute, and it was melted, all right? The other thing is you can do a double boiler method. So you have a pot on the stove, put some water in it, set this Pyrex dish in there with the wax in it, and just let it start melting on its own. Super easy. Once it's melted, take it over to the counter and after it cools down a little bit, not too much, the degrees, if you have a candy thermometer, we're looking at 120 degrees. When it gets to 120 degrees, time to add the essential oils. I use 10 drops, you can use five to 10 drops, whatever you feel like. You add that in there and you mix it up. And then the next step, is you pour just a little bit in the bottom, okay? You pour a little bit in there because we're trying to get the stability of the wick, all right? You place that in there and let it start to harden up. Once it is hardened up, that's when you then go ahead and place the metal thing on the top, okay? So the wick is in there, then you put the metal, okay, see it just, it actually just moves right over the top of it like that, and it sets it on your container and it's got different levels based on what size container you have, all right? So you set that on there, and then after that's done, you can finish pouring the rest of the wax in the container. Let that then set overnight. 24 hours is recommended so that it can harden up, all right? Once you're done with that, you can take the metal off. You actually just trim the wick, all right? So I don't know if you can see that very well. Hmm, there, you can kind of see it there. You trim the wick, and it's ready to burn. It's ready to go. So let's light this one up. I'm curious, uh, I'm so excited to make my own candle. And it didn't take long at all, you guys. There you go, isn't that beautiful? 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, go out today and make it exceptional. Bye for now. Um.